guys, this is Hazen with Elegance for Less, and I'm getting ready to do my other Dollar Tree t-shirt. And it's just a plain, simple t-shirt from the Dollar Tree, and it has, usually, it comes with a tag that tells you what size. And this is the adult tees. So, I want to say it's a medium. Yes. It's a medium. And you can choose to do whatever it is you want with the t-shirt. Usually you just want to come up with a pattern and then you can cut it out. So today I'm thinking, yesterday we did the sleeves, I'm thinking more of the shoulder today. So I have a pencil that, it's a little colored pencil. You're gonna cut that off, so it's not a big deal. You can also use, I like to soak my glass and it will give me a wet mark, which is also a great idea for where you want to cut. And it's just taking a cylinder or a wine glass or whatever you want. Either way, it will work just fine. But what I want to do, I want to go ahead, turn my shirt inside out. You can also use the chalk to make your line as well, which is pretty nice because it washes right out. For me, I'm not a big, I do not sew at all. And not only that I don't sew, I'm not a big, um, I love to design. I've done that through high school, but I love hacks. How to take a scarf or a shirt and make it into something else. I love that. But I don't like to sew, so I've always stitched by hand or glue now actually i'm just now using glue which i'm so in love with so take your scissors make a little slit right there in the neck where the neck part is and we're pretty much going to do the same concept as yesterday the only difference is you are not going to cut the entire neck line off you're not so now that I've got to where my wet spot is for my circle, I'm going to follow that all the way around. And like I always say, go slowly guys. We're not in a rush. If you are in a rush, don't do this at that point. Do it when you have a few moments. This will take you about five minutes to do, not long at all. Make sure you have a sharp scissors. My children, they love doing DIY. I don't know if it's because of me, but they love doing DIY and so they're constantly using my scissors to cut different things. So the question is, do you want to choose to have the cutout just at the neck of your, um, the neck, or you want to take it to the back as well? So it's up to you. You can make that choice as well. Let's turn this around. Now I want to take my slit just a little bit further down, okay, and I'm going to widen the circle. So I'm freehanding this, but if you're more comfortable with drawing the circle, please do that. Now I'm trying to think if I want to take mine to the back. Most 
You know, I'm thinking I don't. And like I said, it's your choice. There isn't a right or wrong. It's your style. You can do whatever it is you want. As long as you're going to be comfortable wearing it. For me, I love to wear whatever I create, even if no one likes it, so... So you're pretty much going to end up with your t-shirt looking like this. So it's like um, a strap, the word I'm looking for. It's going to be like a strap. You're going to do the same thing on this side. You don't need the glass or your pen because all you have to do is use the fabric you just removed from the other side. Go ahead and put a slit right there. Follow the stitching of the neck. Go alongside the arm, the shoulder. I need to mark where how far to go, so okay. You just mark where you want to stop. You want your line to be very even. You want it to be even with the other side. You don't want one side longer than the other. Even though it's homemade, you still want it as professional as possible. Okay guys, I'm going to cut this other side out just so that I'm cutting down on time. I'll be back to show you what both sides look like and then what we'll do next. Okay guys, so I've cut out both sides of the shoulder. So basically I pinpointed where I wanted to stop in the front and then trim. I decided that's just something I did while we were away. Um, I decided I stopped halfway with you guys and as I did this side I realized I think I would like it best if I went all the way to the shoulder so I just followed the trimming all the way to the shoulder and released that cut that part away so now I did the same to this side so that it would be even so now both sides of the shoulder is cut open what I want to do now I know it doesn't look like much, but we'll see. As we go along, it all comes together, guys. Have faith. <laughs> it will all come together. Okay, now that it's cut apart, what I want to do is make sure I flip it inside because make sure you're doing this on the outside. And don't tuck it on the inside because the inside is where is the right side you want. So now we're still on the wrong side of the shirt, the inside out part. And what we want to do now is take the part we just cut off, flip it over onto the glue, and hem that piece. So now this part is hemmed. We have a clean line. Got some glue on the other side. I'm trying to remove it. Okay. And so now it's going to look like this. Now we can trim away the excess if you want to, or you can leave it. It's no big deal. 
I am going to trim it away only because that's just how I am. So I trimmed it away, uh, now it's just a thin piece. Do the same for this side. You will not have as much because of the fact that this side was the first part we did and we trimmed it away. So flip it over so you have a straight line and you know where you want to lay your glue. Make sure everything is laid out properly. Because once you, I, I guess because we're not stitching, we're gluing, you can go back, just use your blow dryer, heat it up if you made a mistake. But that's the extra step you don't want to make. So let's just do it right the first time and we don't have to worry about it. All right, so now, I'm going to take my glue where I want to break over my line. Make sure every little part has a part of the glue. Break over your fabric so you create that same clean line. Press down, you've got a clean line, hem. And I love, I've said this before, but I do, I love using the glue. It is so quick, so easy, and you can use your product right away. Now. I've always talked about Gorilla Glue. That is a, fa a glue that you can use that is fabulous. It's very strong. And I do love that glue. Sounds like I'm promoting it every time, but I basically, if I try something and it works for me and I like it, I like to share it. So that's the same thing I say about my videos. If you're watching the video and you like the video, why would you not share it? Yeah, let's share it. That's why I share with you. If I find a product that works, I want to share it. I want you to know about it. I'm not benefiting from sharing it, but you get to benefit from what I've already experienced. It's basically what I'm doing right here. If your fabric came loose from where you cut to release the neck, just put a little glue there and it'll pull it back together. Now let's flip our shirt inside out, see what it looks like. Now we've got an open shoulder. I'm going to try it on, come back, and show you what it looks like. So I was getting ready to try it on and call it quits, and I decided I wanted to add some pearls to it, and basically just want to walk you through this process real quick before I try the shirt on. Just add a little glue, put your pearl down, put a little strip of glue onto the edge of the cut out that you have and remember every time you you do this on your fabric you want to stretch it because you want to make sure that your fabric is stretchable and you don't like seal the shirt tightly okay so I'm going to go ahead Go slowly on adding the rest of these beads. Come back with the shirt on, 
and show you what we've created together for one dollar. Okay? Okay guys, so this is how it turned out. I love, love, love how it is. I'm glad I decided to add the pearls to it. Makes a big difference. Hope you guys like it a lot. I love it. And if you do, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. I thank you for your support, guys. And for one dollar, I think, well, the beads cost two dollars and ninety-eight cents at um Hobby Lobby, and it only took one strip of it to create that. So I wouldn't really count it as as much. If you want, count it as a dollar. So for two dollars, I think you have a really nice top that you can wear to hang out, have drinks, or grab lunch with your friends. I love it. I love the way it turned out. Give me a thumbs up. Share it with a friend. I truly appreciate your support. Truly appreciate your time and your comments. Leave me a message. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you on my next video.